calculations. Uh, looking at the first one, we're looking at the combustion of methane, complete combustion, so it's combining with oxygen to give carbon dioxide and water. And uh, more importantly, it's the energy given out. Um, the minus um, 890 kilojoules per mole, the per mole is talking about per one mole of the methane. If we were going to put that energy factor in the equation, because it's a minus sign, it means energy is given out, it's exothermic, we could have written after the water plus 890 kilojoules. If it had been a positive sign, meaning the reaction got colder, it was endothermic, we would have written if, uh, the energy factor, not in that way, but we could have written plus the value for energy on this side. So the sign's significant. Um, now, we're wanting to manipulate the actual numbers here. So how much energy will be released if one mole of methane um, is allowed to burn? We're just reading the numbers straight from the equation because we have a value uh, with that co uh, coefficient being one. So it's just um, 890 um, kilojoules would be released. Um, if we wanted a value for half a mole of methane, then we just take our 890 um, and divide by two. We're just looking at um, ratios of it, I guess. Um, if we wanted the value for three moles of methane to burn, we know the value for one mole, and if we wanted it for three times that, we times that number by three. We'd have a step in the next two, we'd have a step prior to that, because we can't interpret these numbers that you put here to balance the, the equation in terms of mass. So we have to convert though that to moles first. Um, so for this one, our number of moles of methane would be our mass on our formula mass. Um, 15 on uh, formula mass for uh, methane. So you've got 12.01 plus four lots of um, 1.008s for the hydrogen is 16.042. So you've just got a little bit under one mole there for this question. Um, 0 0.932. Um, now, with this one, there's kind of two ways you can follow from there, but you have a value per mole. So um, if you want to know the actual energy involved here, um, we've got a value per mole. It's 890. So if we put it... Okay, so energy per mole times the number of moles. Um, we can see the moles would cancel and we'd have the value that we want. It's good to follow your calculation in terms of your units. You can see whether you're multiplying when you should be and not dividing. So if we take our unit value of 890 uh, and times by a number of moles, uh, then we'll get our answer in this case. Um, similarly, uh, the working out for number five would be the same. We'd need to convert it to moles first and then times that answer by the unit value, the value per mole. Uh, the next two are volumes. So uh, we have an expression that we can work out the number of moles by taking our volume and dividing by our molar volume. So we do that first and then once we had the number of moles, uh, we would then be times in by the unit value. Thank you for listening.